Hey everybody, it's me, and I have to admit, I went to two thrift stores. The first one I have an excuse for. I went to visit my friend Joy at the nursing home, and it's like two blocks away from Value Village, so, I mean, come on, you know I had to go. Anyway, so then I went to my favorite one, and so anyway, let me get into it. Do I need any of this? Good Lord, no, but I found some fun goodies, so... Got this one, and I just love these. I don't know who, who's this by. Stamps Happen, licensed D. Morgan. And around the side it says, I can't imagine in all the world a better friend than you. I'm going to make a card for Margaret because, man, is that ever true. I am going to miss her so much. Oh, well, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> And with the economy the way it is, I'm like, should I be retiring next year? Oh my gosh. So we'll see how the year goes if it's just, wow, so much better. You know, I should probably, I don't know. I just go around. I just don't want to make a rash decision and then be in a bad way for the rest of my life. So, but if I made it to 65, that's four more years. And I just, so I'm just going to keep my mind open next year. See how it goes. Make a decision next year. I don't know. If it's like this year, definitely going to get out because I can't keep doing it. Okay. This is kind of a mixed bag. This one was at I Am a Pisces. So there's two things going for me on this cup. <laughs> one, the handle. Oh, three things. The handle is big. It's my, what is that, sign, I guess. And it's teal has teal on the inside and on this. So, yeah. You do the math. Okay. Then I found this and I thought, okay, I think I bought something like this before. All the green tags were half off, so I got this for a dollar. And it's just this ledger. So it makes cool backgrounds, junk journal stuff, which, yeah, I haven't done, but someday. I've done kind of cutesy one for Emma, and I need to do one for Tori and then Vienna. All right, here's another one that I got in the Christmas type. I just love that. And that is Stampin' Up! 2000. This one is Great Impressions from here in Washington, Centralia, Washington. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty used, but the rubber's still good, so we're good. And... This is Stampin' Up! 2005 Cardinal. We don't have Cardinals here, but I love that as a symbol for Christmas, so I got it. And again, somebody's like me where, you know, you just use it, you don't, I don't, I'm not big on cleaning a lot. I try, but it's, yeah. yeah. Anyway, 2005 Christmas Rose from Stampin' Up! Gorgeous. So these all came in my bag. And then this one is not fall, art impression, Salem, Oregon, but a barn scene, and you can tell it's not fall because of the there's no leaves on the tree, but I just thought that was cool. So I got it. It was in the bag. This is why I bought one of the bags. This is a magenta. I love them from Canada. And somebody commented that they it's from Quebec. So thank you for that. Look at this. I just love their scene type. It's like you're looking out the win window to the winter scene. So pretty. Used, but in good condition. So happy with that. Let's see. What else did I get at that one? And it doesn't really matter where I got them. It's not like you can go buy them. I know. Yeah. Okay. But you can keep an eye out. Oh, 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 I know what else I got. Hang on. I got baby girls clothes too. So okay. So then they had, and I paid paid up on these, but I'm sorry. These are just too cute for tiered tray. Drink up, ladies. Anyway, and so here's this little boy bear with his overalls on, holding his take his hat off. And there he's saluting the flag. Oh my god. I don't, I didn't see any boo-boos on this. Hey, look at these, he's got a little, I don't know if you can see that or not, a little frog coming out of his pocket. Just adorable, and it says, 
God Bless America. His little t-shirt. He's got something coming out and a slingshot. I mean, $6.99. It even has still the... I don't know that Boyd's Bears are popular anymore, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it because I like it. Here's the girl. She is on a coin. I think a quarter. Yeah. And she's got her little straw hat on with the flowers in it. Look at the band. Look at this. It's a little stitching there. That is not a blooper. That's like she had her sweater repaired. A little, what are those? Pantalones. Oh my gosh. Look at her. So cute. And she's holding a flag. And her straw hat. Just adorable. So... I had to have them. They had to come home with me, and I couldn't separate them. They go together. They're a boy and a girl. That's how I talk to myself. It's kind of scary. Anyway, <laughs> $1.99 for this guy. And this is a candle. Hang on. I don't know if I'll be able to. From Russ, I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Little star candle. So I just thought it was cute how they painted the sides, and it's a star. So for my. Get your coffee ready or whatever you're imbibing in to your tray. If you haven't watched that one video, I kept saying tiered tray and we kept taking it. It was it turned into this thing. So I'm keep saying that. <laughs> I bought or ordered off Allie some letter, individual letter dies that you can stitch with um you know, what is this? Craft thread fill. Yeah, anyway, so I got in preparation for that when it comes, I think, in July. It's going to take forever, but that's okay. So these colors, and I'm just, the whole name of what these are, embroidery thread. Boom, there you go. Cross stitch, stuff you use for that. So different colors, 99 cents each, so I'm good on that now. Then when they come, I need to be able to find these. And I probably have this already, but whatever. Anyway, these were on half price. So I got them for a dollar. 49. So these being whale punches, corner punch from Stampin' Up on that one. Corner punch from Stampin' Up for a dollar 49. Can we go wrong? I think this one's working. Let me try these guys. I have not sampled. It's the Marquee, or what is those ones that you have to punch down in the middle? Yep. Oh, well, that's different. What is that? <laughs> is that? Okay. Well, so just that tiny little decoration. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should know. It shows you what cuts out. Kind of cool, but, you know. I thought it was, like, to hold photos or something. And then this one does not have, let me just see if it cuts. Yeah, this makes a photo. So you could put your, put that in there and then put the photo in there. Anyway, that'll go in the vault and probably never get used. Just be honest. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Goodwill, goodwill. All green was 50 off. So thanks so much. I wish they wouldn't put this. I guess where would they put the sticker? But it's right on where the image is. Some of them you could barely tell. Okay, I got so excited. I found these little mice. Somebody below, text below what set they came from. Oh my gosh. So I dug and dug and tore up what little nails I have to find as many all I could. So look at her. She's blowing bubbles. Oh my gosh. So, again, I can't peel stuff off anymore. Stampin' Up! 1998. So I don't know if these all went together or not. Yeah, I think so. So, anyway, I got her. I got this little guy. <laughs> so, there are Valentines. I, guess. I didn't even pay attention to that, but look at him. Be mine. Look at him. Oh, my God. And then these sweetie pies, two, cute, oh my gosh. And then she's making a valentine. 
but I'm sorry, you don't have to use. You could say I love you, sending you heart hugs, you know. I mean, these don't have to be Valentine's Day. Okay, so I have no, yeah. Oh, oh, one more. And then this one, <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, even on the back of a card. So 1998, never, some of them were used, but you know, people are going to find my stuff and go, oh, she never used it. Yes, they were used, but cleaned. So glad they got some use before me. Okay, then that one. I found this teddy bear from 1995 Stampin' Up. Rubber's still good. Yes, and he adorable with his little gingham rubbin. Oh my gosh, I just love teddy bears. And I found this one, so I got her for a dollar. Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann, and it's hard to find those. Um, Gold Creations, 1995. She has been slightly, you know, she's been used, but she's loved. So there we go. It's like, okay, I can't see her whole face. I need to find, I have a Raggedy Ann in Andy that I put by my fireplace. I just now remembered that. I'll put them out during the, when I decorate for the holiday, the 4th of July. Okay. This one, Stampin' Up! 2003, a little pocket. Cute. And I got this one for $1.49. This one, Swing on a Star, Penny Black. So I got it for $1.49. Isn't she cute? Oh, look at that curly hair. It's like my, my Tori. She has such cute curly hair. This one is a Christmas one. And, oh, here we go. Daisy Kingdom, 1992, uh, made in Taiwan. Okay. Anyway, isn't any cute? A rocking horse with a deer or a moose all bundled up. Cute kids card. And let's see. Oh, my gosh. Another one that they covered everything up. Okay, 2000 Stampin' Up! To and From with the snowmen. thought that was adorable. Love one another. I don't know. If they didn't have a tag, she just gave me Mary Kinder. One, love one another. I don't know that I meant to get that one in there. I like the dolls. Anyway. This one didn't have a tag, and I remember she just charged me a half off to dollar ninety, so I paid a dollar. But you see why I got it. Bees, as sweet as honey to the bee, is kindness shown from you to me. Stampin' up, nineteen ninety eight, gently used. Cute. Oh my gosh, I just loved it. So that'll go in my bee collection. Oh, this came in a different set from Value Village. Value Village, as I used to call it. Oh, my gosh. I think it came from... It doesn't matter, Kim. Quit talking about it. Isn't she adorable? And look at her little dress. So kind of a vintage... You get that? Or, well, definitely vintage. But this heart is in flag-type design. Look at the hearts on her wings, and she's just holding this banner. Here she's drying out her wings. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just in her socks. Too cute. And then I almost didn't get this one, but then I realized it was half off, so I got it for $2. Somebody must have, this is today I'm doing this, it says on the side. Okay. And I... Gently used. It's very detailed, so I almost didn't get it, but I love the watering can, the seeds. Here's a nest. Just really cool images all throughout it. If you look, there's ivy behind there, so I got it for two. When I realized it was half off, I was like, okay, I'll get it. There's a bird's nest. So yeah, lots and lots of detail on that one. But if I watercolor it and <laughs> Ooh, I can't ever remember. I just went through my comments and responded today. So thank you, everyone, for all the kind comments. Um, but said get the Strathmore smooth paper and Bristol. Look at the Strathmore. I got Vaseline all over. Anywho, 
Um, so I ordered at Michael's and I'll pick it up today. So there we go. And I will try something like that on this. This on something like that. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Another crazy haul from Kim. I'm hoping I can just convince myself I don't need to go buy any more, but we know how that goes. That's, uh, as soon as I say that, I'm out, out the door I go. But, for love is of God. Love one another for love is of God. Anyway, I don't remember. This is by Embossing Art Sweet Home, Oregon. Mary Kinder owned it. I don't know why I'm fascinated by that. <laughs> I just don't remember putting this in the, and I have no idea what she charged me. I did get, because Margaret has these, and I thought, ooh, $5.99, what a deal. Well, I realized these are those reusable, and I'll wash them, of course, but um, containers, like, instead of using the plastic sandwich bags and things, because I like to freeze, like, my spaghetti. So I made this big old pot of spaghetti. I need to freeze some of it so I could put it in here. Um, but it needs this at the top. Only two of them out of the whole set had those, and I didn't realize that. But I think I could just put clips, like um, binder clips, on the top of these, maybe one or two, and it would work fine. But it actually comes, well, as you fill it, it, it goes like, well, you can't tell because I can't fill it, but it flattens out and it has measurements. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I'm bummed that only two of them out of all of these. So if you have an idea of what I could do to save the cause, you know, like if I put spaghetti sauce in there, this does not do anything without that slider. So I think I'll put these in the sink with some soap, soapy water, and um, plus I got a cool bag. <laughs> Um, soak them and get them cleaned up. But anyway, so if you have an idea of how I could seal those so they could be frozen or safely, because yeah, $5.99, and had I known that they didn't have the sliders, I wouldn't have gotten them, but I'll be okay. I'll survive. All right, guys, take, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.